Welcome to fourth video. We continue our journey in search of understanding happiness with an exciting and contemporary topic, positive psychology. In this video, we will explore this approach that places happiness at the center of its research and practices. Let's begin with an introduction to positive psychology. Discuss fundamental concepts like personal strengths, positive emotions, and purpose in life. And finally, share practical examples of how to apply these principles to enhance well-being. Positive psychology is a relatively recent field that focuses on the scientific study of happiness, well-being, and human flourishing. While traditional psychology often concentrates on problems and disorders, positive psychology seeks to understand what makes people healthy, happy, and successful. One of the pillars of positive psychology is personal strengths, which are characteristics and virtues that contribute to fulfillment and happiness. This includes traits like gratitude, hope, creativity, love, and forgiveness. For example, the practice of gratitude involves maintaining a gratitude journal, where you write down three things you're grateful for every day. This can help shift your perspective and increase your life satisfaction. Positive psychology also explores positive emotions, such as joy, gratitude, love, and contentment. For instance, a practical example of cultivating positive emotions is performing random acts of kindness, like giving a sincere compliment to someone. This not only lifts the spirits of the other person, but also generates positive emotions in yourself. Discovering a sense of purpose in life is another central aspect of positive psychology. Having a sense of purpose is associated with greater happiness and life satisfaction. For example, you can find a purpose in life by getting involved in volunteering or activities that help others, contributing to something greater than yourself. To conclude, we will share some practical tips on how to apply the principles of positive psychology to enhance well-being. For instance, you can develop your personal strengths by identifying your own virtues and working on them. Additionally, by seeking healthy and meaningful relationships, you can create an environment that promotes well-being. Positive psychology teaches us that small changes in our mindset and behavior, like these, can have a significant impact on our happiness. And now, stay tuned for our next video, the last in the series, where we will transition from positive psychology to contemporary philosophy of virtue. We will explore how existentialist approaches to happiness challenge our traditional understanding and how contemporary virtue philosophy reminds us that the pursuit of happiness can be enriched by cultivating moral and intellectual virtues. Join us on this thought-provoking journey as we delve into the wisdom of virtue and meaning in our modern world.